Welcome back to another R Sports Squared video. Today we tested six different tennis balls. Which one was first and which one was the worst? We tested extra duty tennis balls on indoor hard courts. We tested each ball on four categories. Value, bounce, feel, and durability. For durability, we took photos of before and after use at various intervals and also noted the performance of the balls after 30 minutes, one hour, and two hours. So let's get cracking on this playtest. Before we get into our review, selecting the best tennis ball for you is really a personal choice. Depends on court surface, game style, or preference. This is just our opinion of the tennis balls. Everyone can have their own opinion, and it, there is really no right or wrong answer. So everyone can have their own favorite or least favorite tennis ball. In fifth place, we had Dunlop ATP Tour. I was a little surprised. I expected that one to finish a little higher. On the plus side, it sort of had a similar feel to US Open, but a slightly higher bounce. And it was also a very consistent bounce. And I felt the uh, negative side was it fuzzed up right away and had a bit of a dead feel or a slower play speed. In fourth place, we had Penn Championship, and on the plus side, we found it was the cheapest ball and had one of the livelier bounces. The so probably uh, best played is just at a recreational level, uh, not necessarily tournament play, as there are some quality control issues we found, some dead balls and also some bad seams on some of them. In third, we actually have a tie between Dunlop ATP Championship and Wilson US Open. So we'll go over Dunlop first. Uh, I felt they uh, didn't play like the Dunlop ATP. Uh, they played a little faster, didn't have as quite of a high bounce as Dunlop ATP, and didn't fuzz up as quickly. In terms of that, they also played similar to Penn Championship, but maybe just a little slower than Penn Championship. There was really no outstanding qualities to the ball. It was sort of a middle of the road ball. And now on to Wilson US Open. I thought they had a good consistent bounce. They were good right out of the can and no break in required. However, the durability is not very good on US Open and they didn't last much more than one and a half hours. Yeah, I felt that they did have a very consistent bounce but uh, tended to bounce a little lower, played a bit of a slower speed and uh, they did fuzz up eventually at about an hour mark, but not straight away. And in second place, we had Penn Tour. What we liked about this ball, it had a good consistent bounce. Uh, there was no break-in period. It was good right out of the can. It kept its pressure relatively well, better than US Open, uh, but there was some, some drawbacks as well. Yeah, uh, some of the drawbacks were uh, poor durability. It uh, lasted about one and a half hours and then the quality of the ball and speed kind of dropped as it fuzzed up after that time. And in first place we had Pro Pen Marathon. Uh, we felt it had good durability and pretty good value, it kept firm throughout playing and lasted longer than most of the other balls we tested. Yeah, it did seem to keep its pressure a little bit better than other tennis balls, uh, better than such as the, the Wilson US Open. However, it did play fairly fast, especially on a newly opened can of balls, so there is a slight adjustment period if you're used to playing with a slower ball. So that was the only negative on the Pro Pen Marathon. All the tennis balls we tested played relatively well, but here are the differences we found. Uh, Pro Pen was in our number one spot, and we felt it had good durability and had a bit more of a faster play style. In terms of a good match play or a tournament ball, we thought the Pen Tour would be a good option, but it had some durability concerns on the felt. It, it didn't last that long, uh, so you do have to open a new can of uh, tennis balls more often with it. And then in terms of value or a practice ball, Dunlop Championship or Pen Championship are good options for for your money, but they really really haven't developed the uh, perfect tennis ball yet with a blend of durability and performance. So. We'll keep trying others. So look for our review on Wilson Trinity coming out soon, the eco-friendly ball, how does it play, and how is it different from the other balls. 
Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.